So how is something as simple as this going to lead to all of these, which by the way are really helpful for viewers just like you, and could ultimately lead to this, which is guaranteed to get you more YouTube views and subscribers? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's do this. VidIQ. VidIQ. VidIQ.com. As always, click on your profile image in the top right hand corner of most YouTube screens and then go to the Creator Studio. From the channel dashboard, click on the video section and then from this list, click the edit icon next to a video you want to add video chapters to. Now, video chapters are essentially timestamps that you put in your video description, but the key difference is you need to include a timestamp of zero minutes and zero seconds, as you can see on screen now. Oh, and by the way, if you want to learn anything more specifically about timestamps, we have a full tutorial over here, definitely worth checking out. Once you have your first zero timestamp created, you can set up the rest of the timestamps however you see fit. Think about the story of your video and divide it up appropriately and don't forget to save when you're done. As of time of recording, this is the user experience. On desktop, when you mouse over the video, you will see a small notch in the timeline that shows you the chapters and the name of the chapter currently playing will be displayed next to the time playback. As has always been the case, you can click on the timestamp in the video description to jump to the start of that chapter and you can see in the timeline that the current chapter block is expanded so it's clearly visible. As for the YouTube mobile app, you can tap and scrub the timeline to see the different names of the chapters and again tap the timestamp in the description to jump to the beginning of that section in the video. Hello, I'm Rob and welcome back to vidIQ, the YouTube tool, channel and learning academy that educates you on your YouTube journey. And for more YouTube tips, tricks and advice just like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel and do this so that you're the first to be notified when we release brand new content. Now, a couple more things I want to add about video chapters. As of time of recording, this isn't available on iOS, but I am told that it will be available on Apple devices very, very soon. Also, and this is direct feedback to YouTube, there doesn't seem to be any form of shortcut for you to skip by chapter yet. So YouTube, if you could add that, that would be fantastic. And if it is added, I will put it in the description and the pin comment of this video. Also, and this is something interesting to consider from creators point of view, this may actually reduce the watch time of your videos. If you're telling people exactly where to go in your video to get the answer to their question, then it stands to reason that once they've got their answer, they may abandon your content. Granted, in reality, this is probably going to have a minuscule effect on your watch time, but it is something to consider. And if you're too concerned about your watch time on your videos for your channel, then you're dismissing the huge benefits this is going to have for your audience. You know, the human beings who actually watch your content. If your video is 20 minutes long, then maybe the viewer does just need a small portion of the content that really provides the value they need. And if they do find it really valuable, they will be much more inclined to trust you as the content creator of choice which may lead to a new subscriber and lots more views and watch time in the long run. Timestamps also give you much greater exposure outside of YouTube. In Google search, your video may look like this, which gives you much more real estate on screen. And although we can't directly prove a link between timestamps and video snippets, ever since we started using timestamps on YouTube, we find that more and more of our video snippets are appearing on Google search. I mean, who isn't going to click on one of these? Timestamps have been around on YouTube forever and they're relatively easy to set up, but they're underutilized by the creator community, meaning that viewers can't benefit from them. I think with the addition of chapters, this is a game changer for this tool and you can get ahead of a competition if you start using them right now. If you would like more YouTube beginners guides just like this, check out the video playlist over here. As always, thank you very much for watching and enjoy the rest of your video making day.